Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another edition of As Failed on TV Dinner, the show where I endeavor to find the best, the worst, and the downright bizarre when it comes to frozen meals. And I am absolutely thrilled, pleased as punch, that you are here with me today, because today is a milestone episode. Yeah, five episodes, it might not sound like a lot, because let's be honest, it's, it's not. But in reality, you know, when you're doing stuff like this and you're like, oh my gosh, I've hit five episodes, that's crazy. Like, you know, we never thought we would be here because like now it's real, you know, it's like a this is a series now. So five is meaningful. And I, f I feel very grateful that in the four episodes that have preceded this one, we've been able to discuss different uh, brands of frozen meals. It's, uh, it's actually uh, for good and for ill that there are so many uh, in the frozen sections of the grocery store. There's just so many, and there's so many that I haven't even touched upon. But for episode five, I kind of wanted to go back to the roots a little bit to cover something uh, of a little more familiar territory. Hungry man. Is that facing right side up? It is. Ha ha. Hungry man. Salisbury's uh, meatloaf. This is this is meatloaf. And the box sucks, so it's not going to stand up. So I have to hold it. So yeah, today we're going to be eating the Hungry Man Homestyle Meatloaf. And what drew me to this is that I do not see a universe where this is different from the subject of the first episode of As Failed on TV Dinner, which was the Salisbury steak. This appears to be the exact same thing, even almost including the sides. The Salisbury steak were two Salisbury steak patties, mashed potatoes, uh, green beans, and my arch nemesis, the microwave brownie that I still refuse to cook properly. Now it's a principal thing. I just, I'm not going to do it, so quit asking. This is two meatloaf patties, mashed potatoes, the microwave brownie, and a vegetable medley, which also includes the green beans. I don't recall exactly off the top of my head, but it does look like it might have a little bit less um, sodium than plenty of carbs and sugar, but a little bit less salt, potentially. Probably not, but potentially. Meatloaf is an interesting choice um, because I feel like every meatloaf I've ever had is different because everybody's mama has some different ingredient that they use for their meatloaf. I've had meatloafs that have uh, ketchup in them. I've had French onion soup mix. I've had breadcrumbs and eggs. And I'm curious to see what is special about this because the Salisbury steak I have eaten, this is my first time ever eating Hungry Man Meatloaf. I've had the Salisbury steak so many times that I have what it tastes like forever burned into my taste buds. Um, so I'm curious to see if this is the same. So with, with that said, let's, um, let's get cooking. All right. So I didn't take B-roll of it when I took it out of its packaging, but this one looked scary before it went into the microwave and now that it's out um i have worries uh the patties are very gray the gravy is very light brown the salisbury steak one was much darker which i guess bodes well at least in terms of it being not the same uh, the potatoes cooked in the gravy. I'm good with that. It's I'm fogging up the camera <sighs> It probably would have been something I would have done anyway, I guess at least even though ooh, Visually it is frightening at least I can pretty safely say this will be ooh, Different it feels like there's more because the potatoes are cooked in with it. It's like they gave you more potato Maybe it's like a pity thing because they know, you know, these vegetables aren't exciting. <laughs> the meatloaf probably isn't that good and that the brownie sucks, especially if you cook it wrong, as I uh, made sure to do. Um, okay, where to start? Um, well, the only thing that's different here... Uh, it does feel like there's more food here. I'm intrigued. Um scared but intrigued let's start with the 
Let's start with the star of the show, the meatloaf. It is covered in gravy and potato, which uh, helps because it's something I would mix on my own anyway. This is probably going to be really hot. This was a bastard to cook. Like, uh, man, I've been spoiled with like the last couple of frozen meals that we've done because they were all ready in less than six minutes. This one took nine. Fucking, and, and the additional, you know, peel back the film and stir it, readjust the meatloaf patties. You should have did that before you put it in the box, hungry man. Let's see. That's not good. Um, wow. Does that... Does that gravy have any flavor? That is a strange taste. I don't like that at all. I don't like the taste of that. I don't like the texture of this. This is like, for for a brand that is so known for being a, a just a, insanely salty, this feels like there is no salt. And I can see some of the problem. I grabbed the little cross section here. I don't know if you'd be able to see it. This is one solid mass. Like when when every ever every time I've ever made meatloaf, it's been ground pork, ground beef, spices and <sighs> spices mixed together and formed into a loaf. Hence meat loaf, and then baked and and, and this feels like. It being a patty, it doesn't feel like it was originally a loaf that was sliced. Like, this feels like a log. Like, just a solid blob of meat log. Meat that I can't even identify. This doesn't taste like ground beef. It doesn't taste like ground pork. There's, like, no onion in there. I would feel like if there are three base ingredients of meatloaf, it's, it's beef, pork, and onion. And then the rest is up to artist interpretation. This doesn't have that. The meat has like no saltiness to it, which is shocking. Like, cause I know there's a gargantuan amount in here. Maybe you really, I'm, I'm trying to just drown it in the gravy. Let's see. That doesn't help. Cause now it just feels like weirdly lumpy, mushy gravy. When gravy should be smooth and there's a weird aftertaste to the gravy that i just can't place like i don't know what's in it that makes it taste so weird i i could almost guarantee this was going to be the exact same thing as the salisbury steak it's no contest this sucks yeah ew i'm gonna move on let's um i'm curious to see how the gravy does with the potatoes since i don't really care for it this the salisbury steak gravy is a is a lot better it's darker and there's like even if they're just pretend like there are like little pieces of possibly mushroom or onion in the salisbury steak gravy i'm pretty sure it's mushroom this has nothing this is just like a completely smooth like gravy you would get from a jar but like cheap gravy where there's like nothing to it hopefully it works with these potatoes so the gravy is still bad, but actually the potatoes are... I don't know if it's because they were cooked in the gravy or something about that, if it helped. But it is... These potatoes are, are better than the Salisbury steak ones. They're not amazing. Like, the, I wouldn't put them on the level of, like, the Bob Evans potatoes that you can get in the store. But these are actually not bad. Like, if you were to serve these to me on their own and you were to say hey i got some cheap potatoes and gravy which i love i love mashed potatoes and gravy a lot like i would go to kfc and just get potatoes and gravy that's how much i love that shit and i found out the reason for that is my mom demanded it when she was pregnant with me so congratulations kfc you're still in business because of my mom's pregnancy cravings <laughs> maybe if i get like a big mixture of all three potato gravy and sadness let's see how this does yeah there's no saving it that meatloaf is terrible i'm shocked at how bad that is the potatoes really good i could eat god i could eat a gallon of these i i do quite like those the vegetables 
I have zero expectations. These look pathetic. There's like 12 kernels of corn in here. The green beans bound to be the same. They're just the shorter French cut. Just shorter beans. They're perfectly fine. Corn is bound to be acceptable because it's corn, even though it looks completely dehydrated and like the oh shit ones on the floor. Oh well, I'll get it eventually. Mm. Yeah, the corn is weird. Uh, and a carrot. Not bad, actually. I really... I don't care for carrots on their own. So the fact that I didn't just outright hate them is impressive. They're not great. I'm not excited to finish any of this outside of the potato. And I, I know I still have that god-awful brownie. So I'm just going to enjoy one more bite of potato. That's the only solace I get. Because I'm getting nothing from anywhere else. Like, not even... The vegetables are really weird because it doesn't say remove the vegetables it says cook them for the full nine and when you cook a pocket of mixed veggies for nine minutes they dry out and they're just not as good <sighs> but anyway it's about time for me to face my nemesis again the shit ass hockey puck and you might say it's my fault that it's bad because i don't cook it right and you would be correct but I don't care because removing the brownie is annoying. I will never do it. And even if you want to blame me for the brownie being bad, I would hate the brownie if it were done right. And that does not excuse the main dish here, the meatloaf. That does not excuse this from being garbage. But before I get to that, might as well see what's on TV. You get a pass on your traits, and I'm like, eh, I don't know if you've taken a look at me lately, but uh, I don't think I really got a whole lot going on that the future generations are going to be clamoring for. You know, there's a lot of recessive genes going on in this body. You know, short, fat, oily, skinny. Unless humanity is heading for a particularly amphibious future, I think I'm good to sit it out. <laughs> Comedy. Hey everybody, it's your mid-video reminder to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel that you are currently watching, because uh, it is it is good for me, it makes numbers go up, and I like watching the numbers go up, and you should reward me by making those numbers go up, because that's what it's all about, not, as the great Bill Hicks once said, the share and uh, joy of laughter and all that other horse shit. <laughs> no, it's for my own personal gratification, so thank you. Buddy, I already liked and subscribed. Can you ask me to do something else? We meet again, you big piece of shit. I uh, can't my fork. I am putting... Oh. Well... Yeah, it came out clean. Look at this fucking thing. This goddamn thing's going nowhere. It's a club. I could kill someone with this thing. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. I mean, it might as well be a shitty cookie at this point. So I assumed going into this that my biggest question was going to be how similar the ranking of this would be to the Salisbury steak, whether it would be slightly above, slightly below. But I figured it was going to end up pretty much in the same rung. But instead, here I am asking myself, which is worse? this or those banquet chicken nuggets. I'm wondering how much I have to weigh expectations because I knew those chicken nuggets were gonna be terrible. I knew the mac and cheese included with it was gonna be terrible. And actually its version of the brownie was better than Hungry Man because it didn't require extraneous cooking steps. This, well, my original op opinion, my original prediction for Salisbury steak in the first episode of As Failed on TV Dinner was that it was going to be fine. And it ended up being fine. And I thought this would be the same, so I thought it would be fine. And it's garbage. So three quarters of this meal are just not good. The meatloaf isn't good. The vegetables aren't good. The brownie is bad. I'm good on, I'm good with these potatoes. The potatoes are legitimately, I would say, good. I would go fo so far as to say these are good Instant potatoes. Let's try mixing all this shit. Let's get a big fork full of shit. Yeah, I'm almost impressed. Uh, this is the worst one. 
I was I was going back and forth as as I've been eating this. I was like, is this worse than the chicken nuggets? This is worse than the chicken nuggets because there's really nothing you could add to this. At least those nuggets, you could go like if you've got any ketchup, even ketchup for those nuggets improves it. I, I fucking Jesus can't save this meatloaf. Uh, it's all over. I had one and I really don't want to eat the second one, but we don't waste in this house. So I'm going to have to suffer through the rest of this, but I will do so not on camera. So thank you very much for joining me for the first five episodes of As Failed on TV Dinner. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have not enjoyed most of these. Uh, although, uh, thankfully, that frozen aisle seems to get longer every day and there's plenty more brands that we can try out and plenty more experiments that await us in the future. And I'm, I'm very excited for uh, what's coming next. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you on the next As Failed on TV Dinner.